Welcome back everybody. I hope you and your families have been staying safe and you've been getting on with your online learning. Um, uh, we've been working hard to get the school ready for welcoming back year 10s and 12s. Obviously our priority is safety, but you will be able to experience some face-to-face -face learning with some of your teachers. I'll hand over to our health and safety expert now, Mr. Bessel. Welcome back. In this short video, we're going to explain some of the safety procedures that we've um, implemented around the school to help keep you safe. So please listen to this video, uh, listen to the instructions that are given and we'll be able to keep the virus away. There are four key principles that we need everybody to adhere to. Firstly, stay at home if you have any of the signs of COVID-19. For this, please reference NHS guidance and government guidance. Secondly, wash your hands or sanitize your hands as frequently as possible. Thirdly, if you cough or sneeze, then remember the rules of catch it, bin it, kill it. And fourthly, uh, social distancing, remember to stay two meters away from uh, your friends, colleagues, teachers, staff, anything else. My space is your space. So here we go. When you arrive at school, you will have to follow some very strict procedures. Number one, we really want you to walk or to cycle to school. However, if you do come by car, could you make sure that you are dropped off away from Blackmore's Lane? And certainly there will be no cars allowed onto school site. Secondly, there will always be a senior teacher at the gate to welcome you and to give you some instructions. And thirdly, always follow the distance markers that are marked around school to ensure social distancing. Thank you. So if you cycle to school, then uh, you'll be directed to a bike shed by members of staff or on duty. This may not necessarily be your house bike shed, it could be any bike shed. So listen to their instructions and follow that. When you get to the bike shed, it is a strict rule of one in and one out at any time. So keep your distance, allow the other people out, and then you can enter to lock your bike up. When you come onto site, if you're coming to uh, B floor, then you'll use this entrance, remembering the distance markers on your way in. And if you're going to C floor, this will be your entrance into the building. Again, remembering to use the social distances markers on your way in. As you approach the school, make sure you queue up supermarket style. There's red markers all around the school. There'll always be a member of staff here to welcome you. They will remind you to sanitize your hand. As you enter the building, you will be registered You'll go straight to your classroom, but don't hang around for your friends. Go straight to the classroom. So when you get to your classroom, this is what to expect. You'll see big classrooms. You'll see classrooms with easy to clean floors and you'll see classrooms with sinks. When you get to your classroom, there'll always be a teacher there to greet you. They'll direct you to your seat. Important, once you're in your seat, don't move. If you need to wash your hands, ask. If you need to go to the toilet, ask. Thank you. So, in each of the rooms, we have a COVID specific bin. This is for any of your rubbish that you'll have from coughing and sneezing. Remember to catch it, bin it, kill it routine and put it straight into this bin. We'll have six for filling up your water bottles. Okay, these have been cleaned, they're ready to use. Uh, ideally, you won't need to use them during the day, but if you do, this is a drinking specific sink. And then we have our other sinks for hand washing, which are set up with soaps and paper towels. There is no eating in these rooms during your lesson times. When you're in school, if you feel at all unwell or have any of the signs of COVID-19, please tell an adult. That is your responsibility, that is all you have to do. We have corridor monitors that will take you straight to first aid or to our COVID-19 room where you will be dealt with. Fire safety. 
There is a minor increase to fire risk around the school due to the fact that we are having doors open to allow fresh air to circulate the building. During this time, we encourage you to continue to act responsibly and safely around the school. If you do hear the fire alarm, then all the fire exits will be available for you to use. You're not restricted only to the entrance that you came into the building. Every fire exit is open and ready for you. You need to exit the building and go to the hard standing out by the school field. This may mean that you exit the building at one part and have to walk for around the whole perimeter of the building to get to the assembly point. From here, you'll be lined up in your pods and obey the social distancing markers that are painted on the floor. Lockdown. If you do hear the lockdown alarm ring, please stay seated and wait for instructions from your teacher. The classroom teacher will be informed on the reason for lockdown and what to do next. We don't unnecessarily want to close windows and doors if it's not needed. So finally, at the end of your lesson, you will be dismissed in an orderly fashion by your teacher. No bells will sound. When you're leaving, please make sure that you leave site straight away, no hanging around, no chatting to your friends and remain socially distanced. Thank you for listening.